Let's create our first virtual machine. Since this is an Active Directory based lab, we will use our Windows 2012 image to create the virtual machine. So in order to create this lab, you need to have access to the ISO images from Microsoft. So let's right click on our host machine and click new, click on virtual machine and give the name for the virtual machine. In my case, I'm calling it DC, which is short form for domain controller. Let's also change the default location so that everything is in a location where we can easily find. So if I browse, I created a window or a directory called VM. Let's select this folder. So all our virtual machines will be on C VMs. Click next. You can pick anything you want in this. Um, let's stick with the defaults, which is generation one. I'm going to give two gigs of RAM for this machine and uncheck this dynamic memory. This is the network virtual switches we created on the previous lectures. Let's click private and click next. All our VMs will be on the private network so that they can communicate with each other. Let's allocate 20 gigs of hard disk storage. We will also change the location to C VMs hard disk and click next. So now we have to point to the ISO location. So browse and um, the images are stored in my ISO folder and I'm going to pick the Windows 2012 data center edition. So click on next and finish. So right click on this VM and click connect and click on start. And now um, we are going to install the actual operating system. It's a pretty straightforward process, but I will walk you step by step how to complete this. So click on next, click on install now. Type in the serial key. So after typing the serial key, click next. And let's use the GUI version. So we'll have a graphical interface to do our work. Click on next. Accept the license and go for the custom install. So this is going to take some time. I'm going to pause the video and I will be back as soon as it prompts for some user input. So this is the first screen I got after the installation and it automatically restarted. Let's pick a complex password before proceeding. So make sure to remember the password you typed in Otherwise, you will not be able to log in. So do control or delete from the menu item and type in the password. So there you have it. Um, you have a fully installed Windows 2012 server. In the later videos, we will be promoting this server to a 
domain controller. In the next video, we will see how to in install Windows 10.